Hi, I'm Sam. In this PA lesson, we're going to learn about generalized linear models. This is a type of supervised learning that is used frequently by actuaries because it's simple and easy to interpret. GLMs are a class of linear model. Everyone's familiar with regression models. This is actually a subtype of a GLM. This assumes two key items. Item number one, that the mean is related to the target by the identity function. This just means that if you take all the variables and multiply them by the coefficients, you'll get the mean of the distribution. The second key assumption is that the distribution is Gaussian. This means that it has a symmetric shape and it is centered around um, a single number. GLMs are called generalized because GLMs expand upon this narrow definition by these two items. Item number one, the coefficients now relate to the mean through a link function. In other words, uh, the, if g is the link function, g of mu is equal to the coefficients multiplied by all of the variables. The second item is that the distribution can take any family that is exponential. Now I know what you're thinking, exponential, that's like the uh, exponential distribution. No, this is actually referring to a whole family of distributions that includes what you were already familiar with. The binomial, the Poisson, the Gaussian, gamma. So uh, when you work with GLMs, you have uh, two key per options, the uh, choice of distribution and the choice of link function. A really common question is, What's the difference between a log link function and a log transformation? If you've taken a regression course, you've seen when they take a log of the target variable. This is completely different because it's saying that the log of the target is normally distributed. In other words, it says that y has a log normal distribution. In a GLM, we're saying that the mean uh, is related to the uh, linear predictor through the link function. In other words, um, if you take the log of the mean of the variable. So you could have a um, a gamma distribution, right, that has a mean of 50. And if you take the log of that random variable, then you will get uh, the linear predictor. You can also extend uh, these to include binomial outcomes, where the outcome is either 0 or 1. This is analogous to a coin flip which uh, would count the number of heads and the number of tails. In this case, you use what's called a logit link function and uh, the binomial response family. This is a very big topic on exam PA. However, we have all the materials that will make it easy to understand. Take a look at our free study guide where you can see tables of all of the link functions and response families so that no matter what question you are faced with on PA, you will be ready to make the right choices for your model. Enroll in our online course, uh, follow us on Instagram, and go ahead and smash that like button to be notified when we release new tutorials for PA.